This is her first time on the dock. Come on. She's not sure about the floating part because it moves. Come on, girl. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. You fall in, you're swimming. Come on. Come on, girl. There she goes. Go follow your big sister. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't jump in the pond part, please. We've already had a puppy do that once. Come on. Let's go. All the way down. If you want to jump in, you can go in the lake part. There. What's out there? What's out there? Good girl. Look at first time out on the dock. There's a big boat. Yeah, big storms off to the distance. Yeah, hi. Are <laughs> you shy? Hmm? What's out here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. What's Rika doing? You want to go on the boat? Are you shy? She... She's a little nervous about this dock stuff and the lake stuff. Oh, really? You're okay, girl. She got this far and then she turned around and ran into my arms. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh so was he yeah, pushing he buttons on the he, boat? Uh, yeah, like, oh. yeah, he left the lights on. It's dead now. I'm out working on docks today, doing a major renovation, replacing 80 feet of dock. We started with 26 feet here and then we're going to continue on. but. I noticed that this puppy of ours, named Petra, is definitely not afraid of water. Granted, she's being careful not to go in the deep water, but as you can see by her feet, she just went wading. So we're gonna see what she thinks of swimming with Rika today. What you got there? Thank you. <laughs> Chews on everything, that's okay. Let's take off, yeah, you got muddy feet. Let's take off your collar, shall we? Yeah, you're chewing on things, puppy. Let's get this. What's in your mouth? Let me see. This is a minute by minute thing where I gotta take things out of her mouth. But she'll she'll grow past that. Nothing to be frustrated with. Who wants to go swimming? Is this your first time swimming? So we were gonna wait on the swimming lessons. But she has a keen interest in being in the water with Rika. So we're going to introduce her to the shallow section. She just got in into the, the pond section anyway. So might as well put her in for the first time. What do you think of that? Oh, look. Who's having fun in the water? Oh, my goodness. She's a natural fish. Don't go under there, honey. Yeah, don't go under there. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to lose you. Yeah, hi. What did you think of that water? She's a natural. Do you see that swimming? Uh, so every other dog I've ever had, including Labradors and Kira and Rika, who are part lab, um, and my daughter's dog, Lily, and also Rolo and Ebony, all the dogs in my life hated the first time swimming. You have to actually keep bringing them back and talking them into sticking with it. This dog, Petra, has no problem swimming at all. Look at that, she wants to be in there with Rika right now. So I'm gonna put my camera down. Well, I'm gonna introduce her to it. Then I'll put the camera down so I can keep her from going under the docks. You wanna go swim with your sister? Or with your, you wanna go swim with Rika? Come here, this way. Go see Rika. What's Rika doing? Oh, you're a good fish. Yeah, you are. Good girl. Yeah, you love that water. Well, we're going to have to keep a close eye on you because I can see that you're not afraid of jumping in the lake. And we don't want you in the lake when I'm not watching you under close supervision. You like that water, huh? Nope, it's out of the mud. Nope, I don't really like the smell of that, but I just cleaned you up. There's a drink of water. Hey, girl. 
You're a good girl, aren't you? Not going in the mud today anymore. <laughs> Already did a couple of times. We're constructing docks, so it's a mess. Come on, puppies. Come on. Come on. Come on, Rika. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, YouTube Alonians. I'm enjoying a quiet, peaceful little moment with this new puppy named Petra we got her because Rika was heartbroken about losing her sister and she still is but I'm having one of my bittersweet moments we had many of them but the joy of a puppy the joy of seeing Rika play. She's inside right now because the puppy's eating her meal. And Rika wants to help partake in that. But there's also tender moments of really missing Kira. The blessing in our life. Blessing in Rika's life. That was her birth sister. They spent every second together in the womb and in the world. Never separated until now she's been so sad she's been to the vet once with another consult afterwards because she's so depressed and that even the puppy isn't bringing her to total joy but you look at her right now <laughs> she's looking at the puppy she doesn't exactly play well they do in spurts but Rika still she she wants one thing and we can't bring that back but I guess it's a day-by-day -day progress of trying to adjust to the factors in life that we can't control. And making the best of it, huh? And uh, a puppy doesn't fix things. We did not adopt a puppy this soon to fix anything. There's a great big hole in my heart and Karen's heart, Rika's heart. It can't be repaired can't be replaced but what we can do is do our best to continue through life through the journey and we fully believe that Rika the journey for Rika is the the, the need for Rika is to have a, a playmate like a, someone to play with another pup in the yard another form of life to just romp around with and that'll come in time, especially as they become the same size. Because this little puppy's growing up fast. And we also adopted this early because of the weather in winter here in Minnesota. Uh, it's not a good time to train puppies when it becomes November and December and the winds are blustery and the dog doesn't want to go out, we don't want to go out. So potty training has commenced from the very first moment we got on the yard here and it's been going very well so we'll give you there's so many positive updates to give you but um, we are in the adoption mode of a puppy we didn't even as I explained before we weren't even setting out to adopt a puppy but this is what happened because the uh, the other dogs that are already a year or two old already have their own habits and maybe issues that nobody knows what they are when they're a rescue dog and I think the best match for Rika is to get a dog that is uh, someone that's acclimated to our family life and style of living and so come on Rika puppy's done eating you can come out and join us no you can't have puppy food though come on I'll give you a gas 
Where did she go? Where's the puppy? She's hiding. She's exploring. <laughs> In the woods. Come on, Rika. Come see what's going on. Come on, girl. Yeah, this, this puppy already adores Rika. Very much so. Where's your puppy? Where's your big puppy? So they're not sisters. They're roommates. They're play friends. They're friends. And, uh, we are adopting early in this season because we want Rika to not go through the winter alone. And so we got to get this started now. It's a seasonal reason, really. It's very important. Rika, no, you can't have puppy food. Come on. Come on, girl. She's got her mind on that dog food. Come on. So, seasonal reason for both Rika and for the sake of training for the puppy. And uh, we're never going to replace Sadie or Kira in our lives. But we sure have them in our memories. And that's, there's nothing better than that. Yeah, it's a playful little puppy. So Rika's not exactly excited about all the rambunctiousness. But she, they do have moments of playtime. And uh, I think she'll help train this little puppy into the right behavior modes. And... Uh, for lots of love. That's what we can only hope for. When I wake, I know you are with me. In the dark, I can almost see you clearly. Every day, you see. Holy